Morning everybody, Troy from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project. Let's try this one more time. I'm going to put my posts up here and uh, get this gate closed in. So I've got to put the posts in, get the cement in, let it sit for two days, then I can put the gate up. I am going to get permission to replace all chain link fence all the way around the property with wood. Now for cost purposes, I won't be able to afford to go with this really nice beautiful stuff. I'm going to have to go with um, sawmill slabs. So around the back side and in where it's uh, not going to be as visible. Down up in here, we're going to have to close off everything all the way around the entire property 360 degrees with uh, wood for for safety so i'm gonna get these posts in and uh we'll see what happens from there so what i have is i'm gonna come out five feet more with boards with pickets and then i've got a 10 foot gateway so two five foot doors and then i've got to get some more posts i'm gonna go on past the garage as I said I'm gonna to try to get the permit to go on all the way around with uh, sawmill slabs so I've lined this up as well as I could with the driveway try to make this straight this driveway My auger is dead, so I've got to dig a 30 inch deep hole, or wait, how far was it? I think it went uh, 30 inches. i got to measure that post to remember how far I went. No, I went four feet deep, so I've got to dig quite a hole right here, four foot deep, with a post hole digger. Not gonna be fun, and the beginning is hard, so forgive me for the slowness of it. This is of course packed for, from years. The tendon in my arm is still not happy. It'll get softer after the soil. And there's a tree root. I might need... I need to chop through that root. Well, I'll get that hole going. And we'll be back in a few minutes. There's that one. Whew. I'm gonna go get the pole. Um, yeah, that's got a split on the other end. Ah, that's no good for being on top. This isn't easy one-handed or one person. That's a hole. Woo. Okay. I think I'm gonna go ahead and put boards on first and get this straight. I think I'm gonna cut them and get them on and get this straight in all directions and then we'll come back with the cement after. 
and straighten this out. Because I can get the pickets on and then we can cement it and straighten it as long as I have it straight this way. I don't need a break before I dig that other hole. Digging a four foot hole is, is not easy because you have to go very wide to get the handles in. I might have to adjust a little. I'm gonna get this one level and then I've gotta straighten this one out by sliding that in and out. It's gonna be an interesting job here. Too bad. Not too bad, really. Try to get this in straight. Let me take this clamp out of my way. It's not flush. Ah. It's very hard to do this. I got the girls inside though today. I'm not having them out. At least I got the height now of it where it's supposed to be. Now I gotta get this lined up and put it back in. That's good. Now I gotta get this way. I can be done one hand or with one person. It definitely needs to go in. Well, I'm gonna get that straight. I gotta wedge it in back here a little. This board is thicker than that board. That's not fun. I'll be back in a minute when I get that straight. It can be done. Clamps are a beautiful thing. bottom one on and I can start working on the pickets I'm just going one nail per board to start and get us going and then I can come back through later and finish them off Make sure they're level if I make any mistakes. Or plumb, straight, whatever you want to call it. Try to make sure they're all straight and follow the land decently. That's exactly why, because I accidentally made a mess of them once. I don't want to do it again. Well, I'll get these up. Well, that's as far as I can go with pickets. Um, now, I have to frame in the other gate post it's going to be 10 feet wide so i'm going to remeasure now to be sure before i dig my hole because now i can still adjust but look at that somebody wanted to see the outside of the fence it's long it curves in for the driveway intentionally so um the inspector said i had to curve it in and have plenty of room to back out and uh and not worry about um getting in and out of the driveway if there was traffic coming. 
and then I brought it back over here even and then here it the road angles away so I've got plenty of room here again so that'll be perfect That's it for that. Until I get some cement going. So, we got two more gate posts and a piece of fence done. And uh, I'll come back later with cement. I'm going to put things away. All my digging tools are put away for now. This is from us, from our property. That's chicken. Melanie makes it look like little trees. This is from our garden. This is from our garden. That's happiness. And they taste so much better because they're from our own homestead. I love it. And this is a fish we caught ourselves. Oh, happiness. Hey, everybody. Got a box in the mail. I've been waiting on this. This is going to help a lot. hope it works for us. This is something I bought for me. That says it all right there. A, uh, whoops, sorry, push button transmitter with two receivers. And the funny thing is, it's hilarious, when the, uh, the mail came, he couldn't figure out where to come through and how to get my attention. It's funny because, um, I didn't have the doorbells. He had the doorbells. <laughs> So, um, one for each house, they plug in the wall, or solar power. Um, oh, there's like 35 or some odd ringtones on this, these things, and a volume control, and a transmitter, a push button, which I'm going to figure out how I'm going to install that outside. We're going to get this put together. Looks like there's some sticky stuff. Yeah. Looks like it's going to be easy. Not sure what that is about. So I'm going to look at the instructions. And figure out how I'm going to put this on. And uh, we'll have ourselves a proper doorbell. Well, there's supposed to be knockouts on this, but it doesn't knock out. So I'm going to drill out. And then I'll take this over and mount it on the door. So, I have to figure which is top and bottom on this. The battery is on the bottom. Can you see me? Okay. I want to put this... I'd like to have it in the plier. I think right here is the right place to have it. I really don't want to have the screws sticking through, but I think this is the right place. I think that's the right position. Right dead center on this board. Okay. That's how it's going to be. People can see it.
Not a big install job. Very simple, quick and easy. Mm. So this, I have to figure out how this goes. Oh, that's simple. I can hear it ringing inside. Okay, I've got it plugged in here. Okay! Oh. There. They did it. That's how it sounds. Of course, that's one ringtone out of 30 some odd ringtones. But it works. Now we'll know if somebody comes here. Mailman. Delivery. UPS. Friends. Guests. Now we've got two cross pieces on to hold this pole straight. And then I'm putting one in the middle, roughly, because I'm going to put a tarp over this for now, for privacy, and a little bit of safety. Hey, little bird. tarp on here, which I happen to have with me, and we'll have some privacy. cover that spot too much yet. We're still putting cement in. But now I can clamp that tarp down and we'll have at least some privacy. I might go one higher. Yeah, I'm going to go higher. I'm going to put another board across the top because that'll prevent anybody and anything from looking through or getting through. Now I sort of trapped myself. Now there's a bit of a privacy gate, so we got the post up as straight as they can go. Oh, I hope they're okay. We tried our best to get those posts straight, but that one's warped. That one looks terrible. I'm gonna have to recheck re that one. Huh, with the level it looked right, but I don't know. This one's bowed really bad in all different directions, but we got a tarp on. The chain link fence is still here for uh, safety. But uh, we're closed in even more. And we still got this gap to cover, so I'm gonna need some more wood. But I'm gonna start replacing chain link fence with wood fence. And eventually, we'll be completely private. By the way, the tarp is only for two days. Once the cement's cured, I can build the gates, and that'll be the end of that. I'm not gonna take you along for the walk, but I'm doing electric fence maintenance. I, I'm going along trimming anything that get, that's getting too close and tightening wires, straightening things up. I'm thinking I'm going to move the heart stopper over to here, the uh, ultra high powered electric fence. And because I mean this is way off the road up through here so the back side nobody has any business if they get through the tangled brush they got no business being up in there. And then I'm gonna redo electric, uh, electric fence signs and no trespassing signs, but I won't be showing you all that stuff, but it's gotta be done. Well guys, as you can see, I still got a gap to close up. I've been fixing the fence lines and 
the wires and everything else, tightening things up. I still got a little bit to do, a lot to do. But today is coming to a close. At least we got a little bit more privacy for now. Well, thanks for watching. Please like this video and leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think. Every comment, every bit of interaction helps. This is Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World and the Off-Grid Project. Talk to you later.